it's no secret that the ability to make media is totally democratized now. Anybody can do it. You've got a thing in your pocket that'll let you do it. But just because you have that ability doesn't necessarily make you really good at it. You have to have a voice. And this particular program is a way to be able to get students to learn what their voice is. This is one of the best programs here. You learn how to write, but then you also get the video aspect, and then they all kind of interlap with each other. Students are going to have a lot of jobs in their lifetime, so they need a lot of adaptable skills. So we try to give them a broad-based set of skills to prepare them for that. The way that the courses are structured, I think it makes it easier for people who don't necessarily know what they want to do, because you get a little bit of everything. The, the small class sizes, hands-on learning is wonderful. Right from the start, I got to know my professors right away, and I still have a great relationship with all of them. And again, go back to the hands-on, I learned so much right away, and as the, as the program grew, I grew. We try to find ways to make sure that the students are feeling comfortable. And the only way that you can do that is to make sure you give them the individualized care that they need. Well, the, hand, the hands-on portion of a program is, is really important. If you're gonna, um, if you're gonna work with Professor Flanagan, you're gonna go out in the field, and you're gonna shoot things, and you're gonna edit things, and they all echo real life experiences. If you're gonna work for me, you're gonna interview people, and it's not gonna be your roommate or your mom. It's gonna be administrators, it's gonna be people in the community, it might be politicians, and you're gonna write news stories based on that. Um, so creating those scenarios that echo real life are essential to our program. The media creation tools I've taught with for the past 20 years have changed over and over and over again. The design of those messages is, the, to me anyway, the important part, because those tools are going to change. But if you understand how we communicate on a basic level and understand that process, then you'll be able to adapt to any of those tools that are coming down the line. Before coming into this program, I didn't know anything about communications, but there's so many avenues. I didn't realize how many career paths there actually are with the communications degree. And to go on and get a master's in something very specific is very easy because there's so many things to do. Whether it's online, traditional broadcast, um, podcasting, digital signage, public relations, marketing. And we have employers that give us feedback and say, the fact that your students did that, makes them stand out from the people that we hire. I think it's a very universal discipline and I think we set students up very well for the contemporary marketplace. Hopefully those messages stand out from the din of the competition and we're teaching students how to do that. Attention to message and media design is I think now more important than ever.